Students are set to return to campus at College in Hot Springs, taking extra measures to slow the spread of COVID-19. Claire Kreitz sat down with administrators at National Park College. She's joining us now live. And Claire, they have one of the strictest return plans that we've seen across the state. Yeah, that's right, Bob. Classes here in National Park College start next week, but because of the rise in COVID cases in the county, they're taking every precaution to keep students and staff healthy. The clock ticks down until students make their way back to campus at National Park College. But just as classes are set to begin, the Delta variant is causing cases to spike. We thought we were out of the woods and now we're back in the in the thick of it. President Dr. John Hogan says they felt the impact of the pandemic personally. Unfortunately, one of our employees passed away from a COVID infection over the summer. I think that influences our collective conscience. With that in mind and talking with faculty and healthcare professionals. We're going to take the safest possible route that we can take. They've decided to start some classes virtually, require masks indoors regardless of vaccination status, and for those who haven't had the shot, weekly COVID testing. This is going to be the best way to mitigate the spread. Along with those safety protocols, mental health is a top priority for staff. We are not equipped to take care of other people if we don't take care of ourselves. Wednesday, they hosted a mental health session for faculty like Susan Millard. We all came back uh, this fall in hopes that we would be back to normal, only to find out that we're, we're not. She says that back and forth has been tough, but she is happy with the protocols in place. Now I think we've got some clarity on what's going to happen, and I'm feeling very comfortable. She says she expects low numbers this fall. We have an excellent plan for keeping everybody safe on campus. NPC will reevaluate their safety measures by September 17th. Dr. Hogan tells me that they hope to have about 75% of everybody on campus fully vaccinated. Reporting live at National Park College, I'm Claire Kreitz. Back to you. Claire, thank you.